assalamu alaikum everyone hope you are doing great so in this class i'll be discussing section b june 2024 paper 2 as level economics and this is question number 3 and before like watching this video and reading the questions you must go through this disclaimer as well these questions are compiled and reconstructed based on the feedback of the students and there may be a little difference between the actual question paper and these statements of the questions as well so just to guide you what should be the appropriate answers to these questions i'm going to make this video so that you understand how was your performance in the final examination so question number 3 was similar to this statement explain the difference between a merit and a demerit good with examples right so it means you have to like explain merit and demerit goods and differentiate them uh, not only based on definitions but also give example of each of them and consider whether a subsidy is always effective to increase consumption of a merit good right and the second question of this uh, part of this question was assess whether minimum price set by the government is the best policy to decrease the consumption of a demerit good right so i'll explain both of these questions so first of all uh, moving to part a in this question you have to accomplish assessment objective 1 assessment objective 2 and assessment objective 3 right so assessment objective 1 is so assessment objective 1 is knowledge and understanding so you have to explain the terms that are given in this question and assessment objective 1 carries 3 marks assessment objective 2 is analysis and in analysis you will have to explain how subsidy can increase consumption of uh merit good right so this will also carry 3 marks and the best answer will also contain like graph of subsidy as well in in evaluation part assessment objective 3 it carries 2 marks in this part you will say that why subsidy might not be might not always be effective and it will be evaluation or conclusion of and the final judgment that you will provide for this answer right so first of all you will define what merit good is merit good is a type of good which is uh, beneficial to the consumer as well as the third party or society you can give example of that for example education vaccination plantation these are the examples of merit goods for example if someone plants a tree then the oxygen created by that plant will be beneficial to the consumer himself as well as the overall society because the oxygen it creates will spread in in the society and all can benefit out of it so first you define what merit good is then you give one example and explain that example as well right so giving example is you have mentioned education vaccination and plantation and when you explain how plantation can benefit the consumer as well as the third party that is the explanation of the example then you have to move to the demerit good demerit good is a type of good which is harmful to the consumer as well as the third party it has negative side effects for example alcohol cigarettes pollution of any type is an example of a demerit good right then you can explain that as well for example if uh, a smoker smokes then it harms his health as well as it harms the passive smokers as well so you have accomplished the first part now moving to the subsidy then you will say that subsidy is uh the kind of financial support or financial grants provided by the government 
to support private producers so that they produce greater quantity of merit goods definitely subsidy is given for merit goods not for demerit goods because demerit goods are harmful government imposes indirect taxes on that and in case of merit goods government provides subsidy to the to the private sector so that that uh, they can produce more merit goods and overall society can benefit out of it to make your analysis stronger you can make this diagram as well for subsidy you will draw axis and you will draw a supply curve that is positively sloped and demand curve that is negatively sloped on x you will plot quantity on y you will plot price and this is supply this is demand equilibrium takes place at e where equilibrium quantity is q and equilibrium price is p so when government provides subsidy to the private sector then private sector will be able to supply greater quantity of merit goods so supply will increase and shift to s1 and as a result new equilibrium will move to e1 where quantity will increase to q1 and price will decrease to P p1 so subsidy has um, made like merit goods cheaper and greater quantity of merit good is consumed by the consumers right so this is the analysis part and uh, at the end you will like conclude uh, as an evaluation you will say that subsidy in conclusion subsidy is not always effective to increase the consumption of merit goods because in many cases private sector may not pass on the benefit of subsidy to the ultimate consumers and it may make them ineffective and inefficient and unproductive as well because uh, they might not use the better techniques of production to increase the supply of merit goods so as a result prices may not decrease and quantity demand may not increase or consumption of merit goods may not increase now moving to part b of this question and part b is relevant to the minimum price right so again you have to give assessment objective 1 2 assessment objective 1 and 2 uh, are collectively marked out of eight question eight they are allocated eight marks assessment objective 1 assessment objective 2 these two assessment objectives collectively carry eight marks and then assessment objective 3 has three has uh, different four marks right So again, in assessment objective one, you have to explain uh, the basic knowledge given in this question, and in analysis, you have to connect the variables, and in evaluation, you have to give final judgment, and you have to talk against the analysis point as well. Keep in mind, in like twelve mark question, assessment objective three is a little different from assessment objective three in question A, part A of eight mark question. Uh, in eight mark question. assessment objective 3 that is evaluation just mean conclusion final conclusion but in assessment objective 3 for part b 12 mark question we have to write against the analysis points that we already uh, have explained earlier we have we, we have to give limitations and assumptions or uh, drawbacks of that analysis or disadvantages of that analysis and then conclude right so assessment objective 2 3 is a little bigger in 12 mark question so uh, in this question like you can say that assess whether minimum price set by the government is the best policy to decrease consumption of a demerit good right so uh, since you have already explained what demerit good is you have explained it in part a so you need not to explain it again right you can just mention that the merit good has been explained in part a of the same question and you can like uh, say that uh, government has multiple micro economic objectives including like the controlling consumption of demerit goods and for that government uses multiple policies and one of them includes minimum price right and now you can start defining what minimum price is minimum price is the price set by the government above equilibrium and it increases uh, the price and 
uh, price of a demerit good and makes it less affordable for the consumers and when they are less affordable for the consumers they they may decrease their quantity demand right so for that you will have to make the diagram as well so diagram will look like this so you have to draw axis and con this is demand curve this is supply curve so properly label it this is origin point on x we have quantity this is demand this is supply equilibrium takes place at e where equilibrium quantity is q and equilibrium price is p right so this is price okay so minimum price is set above the equilibrium so it will be set somewhere at this point right so this is minimum price let's say p1 this is minimum price right so minimum price leads to decrease in quantity demand so quantity demand will be like this much qd for example if we label it qd but at the same price p1 supply quantity supply will be quantity supply will be this much that is qs so it has caused surplus of uh, supply so when government imposes minimum price on demerit goods the price will increase substantially and as a result less consumers will be willing and able to buy that demerit goods so consumption of demerit good will decrease however uh, on the other hand you will have to write against this okay so in analysis part you will have to make this diagram and you will have to explain this diagram as well what is the explanation what whatever i was saying while making this diagram entire uh, that entire discussion was the explanation of this this graph so you have to write everything that i was speaking and now you have to like evaluate this policy whether it is the best policy or not you will say that since minimum price is set above the equilibrium and it causes surplus supply of demerit goods it means more demerit goods are produced by the producers because they uh, they know that price has increased for demerit goods so as a result greater output of demerit good may be produced okay so it may lead to like black marketing as well black marketing is when surplus supply is uh, available in the market then sellers may unofficially sell demerit goods at relatively low prices right so although government has set price p1 to make it less affordable for the people but sellers of demerit goods may be uh, willing to sell at lower prices unofficially in through black marketing therefore subsidy mm, subsidy might not be considered as the best policy okay so now if subsidy is not the best policy then what should the government do you have to now suggest an other policy as well right the answer is not complete as yet you have to like uh, suggest another policy alternative to the minimum price that can help to control the production of demerit goods so you may suggest that awareness can be yeah spreading information awareness can be uh, the better policy to control demerit goods because government can run awareness campaigns through doctors through teachers schools and conducting seminars and using social media where government can create awareness about the harmful effects of demerit goods generally demerit goods are over consumed because uh like people don't know what are the harmful effects of these these demerit goods right so by creating awareness government can spread the word through social media through doctors teachers or through schools universities and colleges that will like make people understand in true sense if they use demerit goods how they can be harmful for example uh to discourage the consumption of cigarettes government may show like dangerous type of videos on social media that will show how harmful 
cigarettes can be for the for the lungs and how they it can cause cancer lungs cancer as well so it will like make people avoid using demerit goods and at the end you have to like give final judgment and during final judgment you will say that in conclusion minimum price is a good way of like controlling the consumption of demerit goods however it is not the best policy because demerit goods are uh, addictive and if even if the prices are high minimum prices since minimum price is high price than the market equilibrium price so consumers may not stop purchasing uh, purchasing it even at high prices because these are addictive goods and they have inelastic demand right so awareness can be much better than the minimum price uh, to control the consumption of demerit goods so this is how you can complete this answer i bel- i believe you understand it and if you do then thumb up and subscribe to this channel as well and keep connected because this channel is going to help you out throughout your a level and o level journey and see you with the next video and in the next video i'll explain section b question number 2 june 2024 exam series again keep in mind these questions are constructed based based on the feedback of the question uh, feedback of the students uh, however uh, i have tried sufficiently to make them as much accurate as possible so you understand the concept in true sense and you can judge your performance in the final examination so see you in the next video thank you so much if you want to join the whatsapp group then go to the description and find a link there and just click that and you will be the part of whatsapp group and keep in mind this whatsapp group is totally safe for everyone because no one can see your number your name or profile picture even even i can't see that so see you inshallah thank you allah hafiz